to just backtrack and take us through a timeline of leaks because there was this leak this week and a lot of Niner fans are like, nah, this is nothing. The Niners don't leak. And I just made me think, well, actually there's been five, five leaks this year. And I want to take them, take us through them. And then we'll just sort of ask you, the viewer, what you think is going on here. Why so many leaks? So it started off in training camp. It was, I want to say the first week of training camp, Jimmy Garoppolo had a, a good first few days and then he started throwing picks. And then we, he threw 11 picks in camp. It wasn't a it was a typical camp for Jimmy. He's not good in practice. But Mike Silver comes for one day. I love Mike Silver. He's an OG. Comes for one day, watches practice, but really was around the organization talking to people and writes an article saying Jimmy's having his best camp ever, which I thought was strange because one, we're a week in and two, that was not happening. Uh, Jimmy, and, and I even wrote it like, Mike, this is, I tweeted it. This is not happening on the field. And he says, fair enough. You're there every day. What I'm talking about goes beyond the field. So whatever that means, meetings or stuff. So there was a leak in August, Jimmy Garoppolo having his best camp ever. That was leak one. Leak two. This came after the Arizona loss, the one at home to the to Colt McCoy. M Mike Silver's back. He's there. It's the, it's the maybe one of two games he's covered at home this year. He writes a, a story afterwards saying a source told him that Trey Lance leveled off in camp and lost confidence. That's leak two. This came out after the Arizona loss. Then recently, Mike Silver again went on his podcast and said that someone, coaches and, and people in the league have told him that Jimmy Garoppolo is the perfect quarterback for Kyle Shanahan because Jimmy has the temperament and personality to put up with Kyle's tantrums and negativity. That's a, almost a direct quote. That's three. And then last one, the last few weeks when the Niners were on Fox against the Rams, well, that, was, that wasn't Fox. Was it Fox? That was ESPN. Was that Fox? The Rams game. The Rams that game? Was ESPN. Um, yeah. It was Monday night. And then yeah, the next was game night, yeah. was, was, was the Jaguars. That was Fox. Both times, one of the announcers on television, hey, don't be surprised if Jimmy Garoppolo comes back. And while that, I can't be certain that's a leak, Announcers don't say stuff like that without knowing. There are production meetings where they're given a bunch of background. They talk to the coaches and executives. I'm thinking someone might may have been talking on the Niners the last couple of weeks to people in the media. Hey, don't be surprised. Hey, you can say it. on. Go ahead and say it on television. Don't be surprised. And that's why all of a sudden last week someone in the organization had leak number six to Ian Rappaport. Hey, don't think that – it's almost like shutting down their own leaks. Whoever's go out there in this organization saying that Jimmy might come back next year, just know that he's not. It almost seemed like a leak to respond to the leaks, that you have like two different factions not really directly communicating in the organization, but doing it. It's a very, A. Hey, anyway, that's the way I look at it. There's been six leaks. And I don't know who's leaking on either side, but I think it makes the whole picture clear when you just put them in chronological order. Acknowledge them. Yeah. My, guys like Mike Silver and Ian Rapport are not aren't randomly just bringing stuff out. Like they're getting it from they're definitely getting it from somewhere. They're not they're not like they're not sitting there with like the FBI board and drawing conclusions with with you know they're get, they're getting information direct information from places. And let me just talk about the implications here. I'm not gonna guess who the leak is because that's irresponsible. But when you put the evidence together, there have been leaks. And each time the leak has an agenda, the agenda is, hey, man, Jimmy's better than we thought. You know, the plan was to just sort of have Jimmy be a placeholder and move on. But damn, he's exceeding expectations. Best camp ever. He's actually the perfect quarterback for Jimmy, for, for Kyle Shanahan. It seems like the, the and then don't be surprised if he comes back. It seems like there is a faction in this organization with an agenda that is more pro Jimmy than maybe the York's. Are comfortable with because it seems like the whole organization in the offseason signed off on a plan jimmy this year trey next year and now there's this like well don't what if we have one more year with jimmy that's kind of weird and it seems like it's new and it seems like the yorks are trying to shut that down um all i can say is, look i'm not going to guess who is doing this in the organization but i'm going to say who i don't think it is i don't think it's kyle i don't think kyle's telling mike silver man jimmy's looking great because Kyle doesn't like Jimmy. Kyle's been trying to replace Jimmy for years. Kyle didn't even want Jimmy in the first place. Who wanted Jimmy in the first I don't remember. But it wasn't Kyle. So um, I don't think it's him. And if it's not him, 
I don't know. Who else would York be responding to? I don't know. But I don't think it's Kyle. So something to think about. Hmm. Yeah, and <laughs> hmm. things that make you things that make you go. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to see. Who, who like who's going to benefit from from these sort of things? Um, who traded for Jimmy Garoppolo? Whose trade is whose resume is that trade on? Who? Right. Okay, I'll just come out and say it. Yo, John Lynch has some explaining to do, man. That's your guy, John. That's your guy. And now there's people in the organization being like, hey, don't be surprised if it's another year. What? I, I don't think that's coming from Kyle, man. What? What? How, how much did John want Trey Lance? How much did John want Jimmy Gray? I don't know. I'm just putting the evidence out and saying, man, it's pointing to one guy. It's pointing to one guy. And it ain't Kyle. So, John, what's up, dude? Because everyone realizes if this season goes uh, south, he's on the chopping block. And, you know, he's a lot more clever than Kyle. Kyle, Kyle couldn't coordinate uh, a media campaign like this, but John was in the media. John knows Fox. He know he worked with those people. So I don't know. But all I'm saying is it seems like there's a leak in the organization, and I don't think it's Kyle, and it definitely seems to be helping someone's resume. So anyway, this um, is – John, I'm watching you, baby. I'm watching. This you. is turning. This is turning into like an M. M-, M- Night Shyamalan movie. Like you thought, you thought that John Lynch was was the yeah, guy absolutely. that wanted Trey Lance and and not and Kyle wanted Mac Jones. But Dude, I, I've been putting it's like I've, it's like the usual suspects where you 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 had him in your office the whole time and you didn't realize till he left. I have all the pictures up and I have these. I have the leaks, but there's more evidence to this as well um i went back they have all the transcripts on there you can check this out they have all the transcripts on their website this was january 4th the day after the season where they do they're like hey we didn't make the playoffs but we're you know let's talk about why things are going to be okay like the second question was for both of you uh is the quarterback issue as big of um as big of a concern for you as it is in niner land like you know niner fans are hysterical here and John goes first, and he has this really long question, but basically the only substantive answer he has to the question is, Jimmy Garoppolo is our quarterback. I'm going to leave it at that. Jimmy Garoppolo is our quarterback. This is, you know, three months before they make this huge trade. Kyle goes next, and he goes, uh, hems and haws, and hems and haws, and says, actually, it's a little different this year because we only have one quarterback under contract, so it's going to be a little bit different this year. So John was, Jim's, Jimmy's our quarterback in, in, in January. Kyle was, well, it's a little, it's complicated. Right, if it was a Facebook thing, John would have been in. We're in. A, we're in a relationship. Kyle would have been like, "It's freaking complicated." So that was the attitude of those two guys. A couple months before the trade, I'm just saying, man, I don't know what happened, but isn't it possible that Lynch was like, "Yo, we don't need to replace Jimmy. Oh, let's just get a backup. Oh, let's just stay at 12." And Kyle's like, "No, no, enough of Jimmy. I want to move up." And and he made this big move, and Kyle and Jimmy John's in the background, like, "All right." All right, we'll see. Hey, P.S. Jimmy looks really great. Jimmy looks really great. That's what I didn't know. He looks really great. I don't know, but it just seems like all the evidence point is pointing to him, man. All Did the evidence it? pointing to you right now. When they made the trade for the number three overall pick, I remember Kyle saying that he talked to Jimmy, but didn't John also say that he also then called and talked to Jimmy? Again, yes, yes. I went back. Okay, so the first press conference after they make the trade, John talks first and he goes on and on. I just want to say that I just, you know, I, f- I talked to Jimmy and I re- Jimmy's so great and he's still part of our plans. It's like, like he, I, he died or something. And I just really wanted. To, and then Kyle's like, yeah, you know, I called Jimmy and I wanted him to know I was straight up with him. But John was just went on and on. It wasn't like we're so excited. This is, this is, it was like, I just want to talk about Jimmy for a minute. Again, he, he has been so pro Jimmy. He's the reason the Niners have Jimmy that he, he was like, Oh, forget Kirk cousins. Let's do this. And Kyle's like, all right, man, fine. And then ever since then, Kyle's been like, no, no, this guy's not good enough. God, Nick Mullins is big. Yeah, it's like, so the main advocate in this organization for years has been, has been John. And uh, I just wonder where, where is all this weirdness coming from? It's I, pfft, I got my suspicions, man, but I don't know for sure. And I, it, maybe it's not, I don't know for sure. If this is true, the, there is some good news to it. And the good news would be that their head coach has, buy-in on on their future and that that's the good news. most important person to believe in Trey Lance is going to be Kyle Shanahan if right. he's 
Or whoever Who cares trade. if John Lynch didn't believe in him? Like, dude, you can step aside then. If that's your, if, if you don't want to be part of the the Trey Lance train moving forward, leave. Leave. Yeah. 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 I told you, we talked a few weeks ago, there was a rumor going around the internet that really it was John who wanted Mac Jones and Kyle who wanted Lance. Hey, man, I, I can see it. The, the, the evidence is when you look at the leaks, all this like covert pumping up of Jimmy Garoppolo, where is that coming from? I understand Kyle seems to be, he seems to have signed off on, man, I'll say what I got to say and play him for a year and we'll trade him. But this is different. A second year, that's different. And Kyle is just so bad at really expressing himself with words that anytime he's asked a question at press conference, he's like, and it's like, what? But, you know, I, I'm just saying, uh, uh, someone else might be in control of this narrative. And John, it seems John like Lynch your See, John Lynch, guys are so smart. John Lynch is so smart. When you put this, when you make this video, you have to use the usual suspects and then put Drops John's the face on it. And then he's like walking out with the limp, and then he like start, like starts walking, he gets like lights a cigarette, and he gets picked up. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's that's my that's my theory. <laughs>